Hi everyone, I'm Jiba Kupusami, I'm the founder and CEO of Jiki Aqua. As you can see, this is Udangala. Malaysian giant rio prawn, or better known as Udangala, is very unique to Malaysia. And why do we say it's unique to Malaysia? Because this is the country where the first time, very first time in the history of Udangala, we managed to produce Udangala in captive. So that history in 1960 gave us the accreditation by FAO to name Udangala as Malaysian giant rio prawn. But once we were doing very well in 1960s, along the years, uh, we are mainly producing 300 metric tons of Udangala in Malaysia. And the demand locally it reaches about three to 4,000 metric tons annually. And we are almost importing 90% of Udangala to Malaysia. So how do we solve this issue or solve this problem to address food security or to give Malaysian a good quality Udangala? So, we bring in biotechnology solution just to produce all male udangana, which deem to have a much better growth rate, a much better survival rate, a much better market price. So in this scenario, GK utilizes current cutting edge biotechnology to produce high quality seeds to sell to the farmers and we buy back the seeds, I mean buy back the prawns and sell it as a big grown Udangala as we are branding it as Ambros. So we regularly do virus detection for our Udangala. So usually we will take uh, the prawns either in the mating phase or during juvenile and we will pull the samples and check for viruses using PCR methods. The common viruses that we will screen for is uh, MRNV, Microbarachium Rosenberginoda virus, XSV virus, and WSSV virus, White Spot Syndrome virus. We will do a nested PCR and then we will analyze the results using gel electrophoresis. So, usually during that phase, we can detect if there is any viruses from the prawns, then we will screen the number of the viruses and we will try to like, avoid it from affecting other fronts in the tank. With this, we have achieved a complete integration from high quality seeds sold to the farmers and they grow it to four months and sell it back to GK for marketed as emeralds. And this complete integration has put us as a sustainable Udangala producer in Malaysia. 